way to help the shoe to retain the shape after the lasting depends basically on a very good quality level of pattern making and for sure about uh, the use of fabrics for reinforcing which are stuck on one side of the upper pieces just before the assembling by stitching. But generally they are used basically when the material is very thin, very delicate or too much stretchable in order to be able uh, to help the shoe as I was telling you to retain the shape after the lasting and when using it. Here are some materials. These materials are first of all several uh, suppliers uh, like uh, APC can really provide different thicknesses, different weights, uh, different height because normally they are supplied in rows and uh, the most important, um, uh, let me say, concepts uh, to keep in mind is that first of all uh, generally these type of materials could be made by uh, natural fibers like cotton or artificial fibers like polyester. Um, generally the way to build up uh, and to weave the threads is made by the traditional warp and weft uh, but the most important thing is they could be sticker or self sticker and thermal adhesive. Obviously the second solution it is the most advisable. Why? Because as we can see, uh, not so clearly because of the picture of course, but this side is generally uh, glued and completely coated by different types of uh, glue. It could be uh, EVA based powder, it could be uh, a melted ba PU based glue. But in any case, this type of powders or this type of glue will be heated. Thanks to the heating and the pressure, they will penetrate into the fibers of the back part of the upper material. So this way they can reinforce the upper material in order to avoid or to reduce some issues that we can see later in some videos. This is the toe lasting. So as you can see, the machine, the typical traditional lasting machine is pulling the upper lining and backing from heel to toe and thanks to this little detail I would like to show you that the top line, so the design, the curved the throat of the upper it is exactly laying where I put a little dashed black dashed line as a reference. So as you can see the reinforcing works well the lasting machine pulls perfectly the upper and we are not in this case damaging the design or deforming. Let me show you some other type of lasting, look at that. This is exactly the same style of the upper, it is being cut out in Nappa leather, so Nappa is the softest material, one of the most delicate, so we always need, we do need to reinforce it, but in this case, on purpose, we didn't put any reinforcing, so as you can see, there is a big gap between the uh, reference line and the final result, almost a centimeter. So even if the operator will try to release a little bit the pliers, we don't get the result. We have the first example, this is the last adapter with reinforcing, so it's well done and well acceptable. The next example is the same upper, believe it or not, exactly the same upper, the same leather, the same line, but without reinforcing. So as you can see, there is a big gap, as we have seen previously in the video. So not acceptable. 